the harbinger of death. For sticks and stones may break my bones, but my soul is mine to keep. Oh, yeah, 
Prometheus, son of the morning light. Ugh. <sighs>
Where is my mom? Like old wine in a hot skin. You all have come out better men than you ever be. Men of the woods, knights of the black table, defenders of the weak, loved by friends, feared by foes. Revered by all, you all have been brewed from Mother Nature's cordon. Invisible, untouchable, ruthless, when the horn of battle is sounded. Black Knights, please, fuck! Stop! Your heart is lost! Black Knights! Switch! Slash! Stop! Stop! Your heart is lost! Black Knights! Switch! Slash! Stop! Stop! Your heart is lost! Black Knights! Switch! Slash! Stop! Stop! Your heart is lost! in your case fear catch them brother in the world. That's what you keep saying. <laughs> Just wait until you see him. You tell me I told you. Can't wait. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Hey, you. What's up? Come You're on. 10 minutes late. I Come know, on. I know, I know. Sorry, hon. The lecturer uh, just refused uh, to leave the classroom. That should be a motor show, I guess. Who else? That man is impossible. 
I know. I mean, he thinks the classroom is somewhere he can yap about his youthful exploits, and all the students are obliged to listen. I know, I know. Come on. Oh, forgive my bad manners. This is my newest friend, Diane, and then this is my very cute cousin, Xavier. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I actually heard a lot about you. She can't stop talking about you. I don't know. <laughs> Loud mouth. She never stops talking. That's why you love me. I told you he's cute, right? <laughs> and then um, Xavier here is actually girlfriendless. Will you quit embarrassing me and let me take you to your hostel? Okay. Don't mind him. He's actually a very, very shy person. But believe me, behind this tough exterior lies a soft heart. Mm. Thank you for the marketing as usual. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, the Yan <laughs> is also boyfriendless. Oh my god, you didn't just do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah. Xavier. <laughs> you have to go now. Yeah, actually, I'm taking her. That's my car right there. Yeah, we're just waiting for you to come so we can tell you. Is that so? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no way I'm going with you on that Okada. Excuse me. This right here is a turbo engine driven super bike. Mm-hmm. I see we have not heard that before. <laughs> it is oh still an Okada, God. Xavier. Please. Angela, mm -hmm. I thought you were the one that said you lost the feel of the wind against your face. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a long time ago. That was before Diane here made me see reasons. Come on, Xavier, the fact that you have a death wish does not mean I should myself. If I fall off from that, your card or whatever nonsense you call it, I will need more than this wheelchair to move around. So please, thank you. Okay. Okay, see you guys around then. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Jesse. Hi, Exe. Jesse, how are you? I'm fine. You're late again. Ah, I beg. Is this Madame Ara? No. She went about 20 minutes ago. She said I should tell you that she'll be going to school. Mm -hmm. How did she go? Uh, a lady called Diane or something took her off. <sighs> Diane? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, Jesse. I have to run now. Okay? You're always running. Kai, ah, what about the lunch date you promised me ever since? Mm hmm. Jesse. Hmm. Very Still soon. Ready. Okay? Mm hmm. Very soon. I'm waiting now. Alright, take care of yourself. Okay? Alright then. <sighs> What did you want, Hades? I want your head. Then I will cut out your tongue and your heart. But that will be after I cut out your balls and stuff them in that loud mouth of yours you used to call my brothers and I animals. Animals not fit to be members of any fraternity. Undeserving of the true colors of the jet. I dare you, Hades, to take me Manu or Manu. You are nothing without a piece of metal in your hands. I agree. But someone is going to die here today. And it will not be me. Ross, I go chop you. I'm a gent. Number one. Intelligent. Articulate. The size is always on point. Sticks and stones may break my body and bone, but my soul, my soul is mine to keep. I will see you soon. These people hard and ruthlessly for this insolence. You're right. <sighs> but don't forget, we just down their number one now. Because they go make noise now. Now you go gone. But we're still going to hit them. Make arrangements. I want to even this cause within 24 hours.
all about choice, yeah Fantastic timing. Why are you avoiding me? I'm not avoiding you, I've just been busy. I heard about your mom. Sorry. Thanks. What do you say to my proposal? What proposal is that? I like you. I want you on my team. You look like you would make very good material. Thanks for your vote of confidence. Well, like I told you before and the time before that, I'm not interested, I don't do cults. And who's talking cult here? We're talking fraternity, you're talking cultism. Do I look like a cultist? No way. Do I look like a cultist? There's a war going on on this campus. Take a look around you. It is going on. It's time for you to choose where you belong. Shoot. Whatever war you have started on this campus is yours and do not try to rope me into it. Okay? Ha! How to live? You won't die. I'll be your mama and a witch. Make way. Bam the meta. Be make a fall this true. Step. knocked on the door to hell. These guys would have dropped you without any hesitation. This is a life you so willingly offer me and you expect me to accept it. Next time, put your dogs on a short leash because if you try to pull the stunt with me again, they better be ready to go all the way. Be you for let us fall this bastard now. You for let us treat him for call. With time we will. He has had his chance. Now the wind will sweep him away. I seen you in the morning, Oh, it's a long story. Sorry about that. I hope you still remember Diane of yesterday. Hi. Of course, I know you remember. Come on. 
Diane here has been a sweetheart, a darling, and a lifesaver all at the same time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. Thanks, Diane. You're welcome. So, can we go now? No. I've still got lectures. <laughs> but you can go. How then are you supposed to go back to your hostel? Oh, don't worry about that. Diane's driver will pick me over to lectures. Swell. But that means I can go to my bunk now. Not so fast. You're gonna be a gentleman and kindly help drop Diane at a hostel. Um, I'm fine if it's not cool with you. I'm alright. Come on, let's go. Hey, beautiful. Hey! You I forgot came. your notebook. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Well. Thank you so much. How have you been? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Xavier, Hakim, Hakim, Xavier, my cousin. Hey, Mr. X. World famous. I know you. How you doing? Hey. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. You good? Alright, nice. Don't start it. Okay. Hold me. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold me so you don't get to fall off. Properly. Okay. That's better. Bye, Daya. <laughs> hey, Hakim. Hmm? Don't mind him. He's always protective of me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess... Uh... Yeah. Wasn't that bad. <laughs> so thanks for the ride, huh? You wanna come upstairs? Uh no. Nah. Maybe some other time. What's wrong with now? Nothing. Um I just don't feel like it. And I need to check up on Angela. But Angie's fine. I know. But I still need to check in with her. Why do you treat her like an invalid? In case you didn't realize or if you skipped your notice, she's in a wheelchair. <laughs> I saw the wheelchair, but I'm not sure who's stuck in it, you or her. And in case you didn't realize, she wanted some time with her friend. So give her some space. <laughs> um, first floor, flat on the left. And a scary ride. I'm glad you like my driving skills. Of course I do, but come on, my cousin would have your head if he ever catches you pushing me like this. That reminds me, I was gonna ask you, why is he so overprotective of you? What's up with that? Oh, come on, don't worry. That's a long story, Hakim. Forget about it. Are you hungry? Mm hmm. Okay. On one condition? Spill it. It is going to be my treat. Fine. Fine? Mm hmm. Okay, I'll just continue with my driving. Oh, please, but make sure you don't do this again. No, I promise I'm going to be perfect this time. Just because I'm the best driver in the world. Yeah. 
yo. And a mad way for every fool. So you're going to tell me about your cousin? You don't forget things easily. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But it's actually a very long story. Okay. And sad too. Why do you blame yourself for her condition? She told me everything. tell you that I did not only cost her her legs but that I also killed my only sister. She doesn't blame you. So why did you kill her? Because I am responsible and I will not pretend I just got an admission into the university and Xavier decided he wants to take me out for a treat. And so off we went. Me, Xavier and Tammy. Tammy, his kid sister. Yeah. It was her day. And I promised to give her the best day of her life. He spoiled me silly. From ice cream to burger, we even went to the cinema. I've not had so much fun in a long time. Or maybe I should say I've never had so much fun all my life. We were on our way out of the cinema. When we met, when we met Jude. Jude and his friends convinced Xavier to permit them to take me out in order to celebrate my admission. I drank, I came to, two, then three, then we lost count. So it was time to leave. I insisted I wanted to drive because I felt he has had so much alcohol and will not be able to drive properly. But he protested, insisted he would drive. He even said he would handle his alcohol, but I refused. I should have refused. I should have said no and maintained my no. But it was a day I just wanted to make it happy. We find out what was happening. The trainer was on us. I didn't even know what happened until I woke up in the hospital after three weeks. Exiga was the first face I saw when I woke up by my bed. And they said he barely left my room. I survived. 
a few bruises. But Angela, I, Angela came out in a wheelchair. Angela came out in a wheelchair. But my sister told me was dead. My baby sister. For it. You did not kill her. She don't understand. I do. I understand. I killed my baby sister. I understand. Is that why you're scared to love? Because you feel they will leave you. Just like your mom and dad. You don't know anything about me. Before you drown. <laughs> Look, whatever plan you have, it's not going to work. I want you to be sure you're not all eyes. <laughs> you know me, 
up that night. Tell your number one man to stay away from my path. Else I will have his head on a pike with the gents. Tell him to walk the weary path, for my fire burns through. <laughs> Sojourn is far away from the land beyond the beyond. You don't drink anymore. Not one drop since that day. You don't smoke. You don't drink. So what do you do? Run. <laughs> you run. <laughs> You know, Diane, you have very offensive mind. It takes one to know one, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, um, why do you go around school with a police orderly? Oh, that's, that's my dad's idea. He just has this notion that the world is such a scary place for his innocent little daughter okay. wait what's funny okay. mm. Okay. <laughs> you're not a gentleman at all okay what's funny <laughs> I knew it. It was a bad idea. 
letting you go out with him in the first place. Whatever happened had nothing to do with her. It bloody had everything to do with him. If you didn't go with him to that stupid cafeteria, you would have almost been shot by cultists. You're telling me. My brother, I think you need to relax. You're taking this thing too far. I was there for her. Where were you? Dude. You. Hmm? You do not have any right to tell me how far I can go. You don't know, and I promise you, you do not want to know. Would you just stop this? Would you stop this, the both of you? What is wrong with you? Why is everyone treating me like an invalid? You men, please. Control yourselves. If you guys want to fight later, there's place outside to fight. But not in this house. Just control yourself. <sighs> Please. This is far from over. This is very far from being over. Mr. X, if you're looking for who to have a word with, I think you should do that with your old friend, Hades. Oh, I forgot you know him as Jude. Excuse me? Yes. It was Jude that killed the people at the cafeteria. And then he asked me to tell you that he will be seeing you very soon. Jude, he is so dead. He is so dead. Can you relax and keep quiet? What did you just say to me? I said you need to stay quiet. You see, I am actually saving your life. Because if you go anywhere around Hades or Jude or whatever you choose to call it, now that the war is still on, he's going to kill you without hesitation and nothing is going to happen. I need you to think about this. Because your sister here was not hurt. The war going on right now has nothing to do with you. But if you decide to go out there and say the right thing to the wrong person, my guy, that guy will fall. He will light you. In other words, he's going to get you killed. I need to go now. And if Dan doesn't mind, I think it's best Angela stay back tonight. You read my mind. They're both they're staying here. They're not going anywhere. They're sleeping here this night. Stay calm, boy. foot on the sacred soil of a university. It takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance. I'm sure your number one man must have taught you all that before I took his life. Your life depends on the choices you make. You make the right one, you live long enough to tell your children your exploits. You make the wrong one, 
and you will be buried in a shallow grave. Please, I don't want to die. <laughs> no one wants to die. But the brave do not fear death. They welcome it in a warm embrace. No headstone or epitaph will mark your grave. Nine years I have spent on this campus and already I have been immortalized with songs declaring my deeds as a grand law. What will you be remembered for? Sticks and stone can only break my body. Your father, your souls are mine. I think it's every girl that wants to jump into bed with you. Most. But that's not the issue here, Diana. Is that? Just get off your high horse. Now, you're acting funny. What are you so scared of? Why are you so scared? A tiny little kiss. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You are so chicken. Now, who's chicken?
still fought the world chance. I fear God and I do not pray. For Caesar's soul may break my body, but my soul is my queen. An epitaph for every friend. And a mastery for every fool. Trade. Trade carefully. We say it to the heathen. Lest you become an unspeakable sacrilege. But he wouldn't listen. Could he comprehend our thoughts? No, he could not. For his ears were sealed with the shadow of And now he dares us. Questions. And I ask, gents, what do we do to the vulture that seeks to know the name that then goes by? How they How they shall have. An epitaph for every friend. I insist, come and pass. I should. Yeah. You again. I thought by now you were gone. <laughs> well, I'm still here. Is your sister home? She's inside. Okay, I'll just see her But just because she likes you, hmm? I will pretend that I am okay with this um, <laughs> relationship. But if she so much as gets a scratch on her, hmm? I will hold you responsible. <laughs> well, I can leave with that. <laughs> Ghost! Every human being must pass on. Six feet under. Nothing more, nothing less. Transcend to the underworld. We must. You've had your ear to the ground like a mole, right? Dead serious, man. Your transition will be swift if she so much as breaks a sweat. <laughs> hey! You get there. Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
Me na me na who I be you. Me na me na who I be you. Hey! He get there. Hey! 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 He get there. Bloody Philistine. You know what? I'll just excuse you guys. Go easy on him, okay? Hakim, you lied to me. What? You lied to me about everything. How? I never lied to you about anything. I always tell you the truth. You tell me only the things you choose to tell me. Now, when were you ever going to tell me you're a bloody member of a cult group, Hakim? A fraternity, not a cult. Cults are for old men with senility knocking on your doors. You know? Ow! Don't you ever! Don't even try to sweet talk me! I'm not funny for this. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you that part of my life because I didn't know how you would react if if I had told you. But I'm I'm really sorry. Now you know. I'm very sorry. I I can actually give you some space if that's what you want. In other words, I can leave your house if you want me to do so. Oh, Hakim, that's not what I mean. I don't just want anything bad to happen to you. Nothing bad is going to happen to me, I promise. So... Are we good now? Have you forgiven me? Yes. Wait. Is that why you've been avoiding me? Yes. The picture of Jude with that gun pointed at you keeps flashing through my head. And then the fact that you stood there like Voltron, defender of the universe, saying, Igede, Mina, me, Mina, Black Knight, whatever. That's not funny. What the heck? That's not funny, Hakim. Okay, I wasn't laughing. Don't tell you so important with this. <laughs> So how is it? You're totally insane. Oh my god. Oh my my god. mother used to think the same thing. Well that was crazy though. <laughs> oh my god. So tell me you want to go for another spin? Huh? Are you crazy? <laughs> Except cars go extinct. Never. <laughs> Come on baby, you know you're always safe with me. Are you sure about that? As sure as the sun is up rising every morning. Ah, 
I go love you. home video lines. What do you want? Mm. Call it a small Nganja message from the Mbangba Grand Lord. Hades. <laughs> you mean Jude? Your mouth sabi run on choir. I go fall you witch no go cry. Your gibberish doesn't scare me. Xavier, Xavier, soon you will experience fear like never before. <laughs> A message to your little sister. Stay away from the black knight or get drunk with them when the storm comes. Why don't you guys just leave us alone? Oh. Miss Little Rich Girl, read my lips. Keep out of this, or all the ekele bay your father can pay will not save you. They were trying to kill us. And here you are asking me to calm down. He brought this on us. Exibia. Whatever happened to us has nothing to do with him. What happened? Angela, what happened? What happened was that we were almost killed by some gun cutting idiots. All in the name of courtism. You are here defending him. And I still say that Hakim has nothing to do with what happened. This has nothing to do with him. From today, I don't want to see you anywhere around him. But you can't do that. Exceed that you're not my father. Really? Yes. You're not. I should leave. No. You don't have to. He has to! Excuse me, let's do this girl. Hello? Okay. We need to talk. You have no business coming between what is and what will be. I apologize, number one. But I had a stake in the prospecting that I intended to go on. The maiden on the Trojan Hearts? Ghost. Ghost. Always I tell you, this is not New York. The madness here is a hundredfold. And you did wrong by telling them that he is a knight. He had been black spotted. For everyone believed he was with the Lord. Telling them he was with us was the only way to keep their executioner at bay. And the only reason little Sissy does not have his head on the mantle yet. But he is now one of us. He will be.
and little CC. What was the peace offering? He demanded. Four cauldrons of the devil's brew. Death paid in full. Bottom line, you ran. You saw death, you panicked, and you bloody ran away. Is that not it? Grandlord, they had a great number. Every sensible person would run. You, you go scamper, then retreat. Wrong answer. Your father. You don't run in the face of death. You stand like a man. Hello, Bonte, the Chris. You look death in the eye. Right here, right between the two eyes, where the third eye that sees everything resides. You look him in the eye. Tell him, say. You see, man, I mean, you come for you're crazy, your papa, you don't have to do anything. That's what you do, you don't bloody run, Ross. Hard man, did you also run? No, Grandlord. I look into his soul and give him three scoundrels of the black cloth who had their names written on my musket ball. He told me to sail for my death is for another day. Hey. Grandlord. Hey. I they feel you, Ross. I they feel you. Hey. Oh. No wonder. Mbamba! I they money now, my money, yo. Mbamba! I they money now, my friend, yo. I had the money now, my money, yo. Mamba had the money now, my friend, yo. I go this year. Lords, blood begets blood. Lords, blood begets blood. Lords of the seven seas. Ah, man. Rocket is going to get it. Mamba is a poor cry that is in the heart of the land lovers. Hey, and what do we do to the land lovers? This is from their flesh. Do to their bones. Father, the sea is no longer your home. 